they come on the laser and they start losing weight and it just helps to motivate them to be more healthy. So if any of you are interested in doing that, you can come see me afterwards and I'll tell you more about it. But the, the main thing here is that if you want your insurance rates to go down, then you have to be healthy. Some of the states that have a real bad problem with obesity have passed laws that you can't work for the state if you're obese. And they gave their workers a certain time period to lose the weight or lose their job. Hopefully it doesn't come to that here. But it's a big concern nationwide about people's weight and their health. A lot of the issues and, and costs into health care go in to treating people for diabetes or heart disease, cancer, different things. Well, heart disease is completely preventable. One of the number one things that goes on with people in heart disease is the clogging of their arteries. And they don't know their arteries are clogged until they have a heart attack. And then they go to the hospital, having a heart attack, and the next thing you know, they're having a quadruple bypass surgery. Why? Because of their arteries are all clogged up. What if you could prevent that? Would it be worthwhile? I think so. Well, I found that there are things that people can do to completely prevent these things. Heart disease is preventable when it comes to clogging of your arteries. How many people, you go to the doctor and they say, well, you have high cholesterol or you have high blood pressure. What if those things could be fixed without going on a drug? How many people would be interested in that? Because it is out there and it is possible. When we were at the fair last year, we had a booth and we had a little machine and it was, it's called a digital pulse analyzer. And we put it on your finger, and there was a little printout that would come out, and it would show your heart wave and different things. Well, this digital pulse analyzer was developed for the medical community to detect heart disease early on. Most doctors out there don't even know it exists. And we put people on there, they come into our booth, and we'd show them what was going on with their heart and we talked to him about the clogging of the arteries because that was the number one thing that it would show. And then i tell him how to put, use different supplements, and within a couple of months, they'd come back in and we'd retest them on the machine and it'd be completely cleared, and their heart would be normal. So there's things that you can do to stay healthy, whether it's go on supplements to help with things or exercise. But usually a combination of all of these things will help people stay healthy. And the more healthy you are, the lower your insurance is. It's the, the way the trend is going is that if you're overweight, you're going to pay a lot higher premium on your health insurance because insurance companies are going to have to spend a lot more money on you later on because you're going to be going into the doctor because you have heart disease or you're diabetic. So they're trying to move, sh move and shift things so that people are going to start holding themselves more accountable for their health and staying healthy. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, but that's the way the industry is going on. <coughs> With Obamacare, they're all about people being more healthy. And sometimes you can't get treatment because you could have prevented it. A lot of people that get on Medicare when they're older are finding that they don't have the same benefits they did eight years ago. It doesn't cover as many things. And, you know, insurance in general, premiums have gone up. You're, amount you have to pay out before they cover has gone up, your deductibles go up. <clears throat> but for groups to get better coverage and a better rate, 
they have to have people that are healthy with less health issues, and then those rates go down. So nationwide, it's become a problem with people's health, and the biggest thing is people are overweight. So if you guys are interested in getting on a plan that's going to help you get your weight down and help get healthy, I suggest you come see me or somebody like me that deals with these things specifically. Do you guys have any questions for me? No questions? What's your, what's your take on, on uh, degenerative disc issues? What's... All right, so how many of you know what degenerative disc issue is? I know you do because you're asking the question. So what happens is as you get older, your disc that goes between the vertebrae starts to break down and it starts to shrink. And they call this degenerative disc disease. Well, the number one cause for degenerative disc disease is obesity, people being overweight. And it puts that extra pressure on that disc, and it starts to squish it because it can't keep up with the extra weight. Now, can you prevent it? To a certain degree. But your disc is going to start to degenerate as you age anyway. But to slow down, you need to be healthy. Now, one of the things that we do in our office with people that have disc issues, whether it's the degeneration or they have a ruptured or herniated disc or a disc that's bulging, is we put them on a decompression table. And this, you lay on there and we strap you in and it stretches you out. So it's going to give, put a certain poundage of pull on you and then it's going to release and go back down. And it goes back up, and we do this, you know, starting out for 15 minutes. I have one person that we're up to doing it for 40 minutes. A little bit. <laughs> we always joke with people, because, you know, you go back to the medieval times, and they, they had all their torture, and they had them on this table, you know, and they stretch you out and pull you. Well, this is essentially what this table does. But it just doesn't go that extreme. So you have to pay for the torture. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay for the torture. But what it does is it pumps that disc by pulling the vertebrae apart and letting it come back down as it starts to pump the disc and it starts to pull those fluids and material back into where it's supposed to be. By doing that, it takes the pressure off the nerves that are coming out right there. And so you have less issues. And this is not, you know, you can't come in one time and expect it to be fixed. When you have a disc issue like that, it could be months before it's fixed. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I must have a fat head because I got a disc in my neck, so I must have, I must have a fat head problem. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice. So there's, there's certain locations that are more prone for issues with disc, and it's usually your low back around the lower lumbar. And then the other is around C4, which is right in the middle of your neck. And so if you look at your spine and the way it's supposed to curve on your neck, that C4 is right at the apex of the curve. And so when your head's forward, it puts a lot more pressure there, which is another thing that they talk a lot about now is forward head posture. So if you you watch people and you look to see if their head's over <clears> their <throat> shoulders. Your ear right here should be over your shoulder. So you look around and you watch people and, you know, chiropractors are always looking at this. You go to school and you start seeing all everybody's problems with posture. But that's one of the major ones. And they've shown in the research that when people have their head forward all the time, that it decreases their life. And pretty soon they're over like this, and they can't keep up right. Well, if you understand how the body works and how your eyes and stuff work, you'll notice that people that start having their head forward start going like this. Because your eyes want to stay level, and you've got to be able to see. And so they, their neck might be completely forward, but their head stays up because they want to see. This causes a lot of issues with the rest of the body. When you start getting that type of posture, you start having heart issues, you start having digestive <coughs> issues. 
there's a lot of things that go with that. <coughs> and so part of that is preventing. There, there's another condition they call it military neck. And that's because the neck, instead of having a curve, is completely straight. There's no curve to it at all. And it should have that curve. And that causes issues. You know, there, there's a lot of things that can cause issues. But one of the things that you can do to prevent those is get adjusted. How many of you have ever jammed your finger? Pretty painful? And when does it quit hurting? A long time. It takes a long time. But if you pop that finger back out, it quits hurting. It might be sore for a few days after that, but it doesn't hurt so bad. Well, your spinal column with all your vertebrae is the same way. They can get jammed together and not move properly, and it needs to be moved and get that mobility back or you feel good. When you get the pain going down your leg, you have a problem in with your hips or your pelvis or your low back. You get that moving and then you're good. You don't have that pain. That's why most people come to see chiropractors is to get out of pain. I get a lot of people that come for other issues. I see people that have MS and have all sorts of digestive issues and they've been to the medical doctors, they've been to specialists for a long time and they don't get any results. I have one guy that comes, came down, he was in an auto accident and had a piece of metal that went through his window and went through his skull into his brain, had a brain injury. His wife said that when he had that happen, he became a different person. And she spent four years going to specialists all over the country trying to get him help and no improvement. And then somebody referred her to come see me and she brought her husband in and within two months we had him almost all the way back to normal. He was smiling again, he was laughing again, his sense of humor came back, his memory started coming back. Why? Because we started firing those pathways. We started getting the joints to be mobile. I learned a lot of stuff from a chiropractic neurologist. And there's a difference between a normal chiropractor and a chiropractic neurologist. These chiropractic neurologists have gone to a lot more training and they work with neurology. They're just like your MD that goes to school to become a neurologist. But they do things differently, and they use adjusting and different things to balance the brain to correct issues. Well, I learned from, from the president of the Chiropractic Neurology Association that everything comes down to one thing, and that's brain balance. If you correct the brain balance, all the other things correct themselves. So I focus more on balancing the brain and the pathways so that they fire correctly. And I've seen people get better from a lot of things that they were told they'd have the rest of their lives. I have people that come in with, that have been told they need to have knee replacement surgery and now have full mobility in their knee and no issues. Now, do they have to come in from time to time and have their knee adjusted? Yes. But they're not spending thousands of dollars on pain medications and surgery. And they have a better lifestyle. It can be that way, whether it's carpal tunnel or whatever it is. When you're mobile and can do the things that you want to do, you're happier. My job is to help you get there. I do a lot of different things to help people get there. You know, I get people that want to play golf. I have a guy that come in, he had hydrocephalus. This is, hydrocephalus is water on the brain and it caused a lot of damage and he had a stroke from it. And so part of his body doesn't work right. So we started doing the same type of things with him. And when he came to see me, his posture, I'm not kidding, he would stand out like this and he was like this. 